Hi, it's Katrina. From a turtle trapped in a plastic ring to whales eating massive amounts, here are 10 sad and unfortunate things caused by plastic. Number 10. Whale Death In mid-2018, a pilot whale was discovered clinging to life in a canal in southern Thailand. Rescuers shielded the creature from the sun and used buoys to keep him afloat as he vomited plastic bags. Then a veterinary team desperately scrambled to save the whale's life, but their efforts unfortunately failed. An autopsy revealed that there were at least 80 plastic bags in the mammal's stomach, weighing as much as 18 pounds. Marine biologist Ton Tamrong Nawasawat told The Guardian that the massive collection of plastic made it impossible for the whale to consume enough nutritious food. If you have 80 plastic bags in your stomach, you die, he explained in cut and dry terms. Tan went on to point out that plastic consumption kills at least 390 mammals annually in Thai waters, and that Thailand is one of the world's largest users of plastic bags. It's a huge problem, he said. We use a lot of plastic. But this problem is not limited to Thailand. It's worldwide, as evidenced by the increasing number of whales in recent years who have turned up dead with massive amounts of plastic in their stomachs. And while using plastic bags may seem like an inconsequential and harmless habit, tragedies like this demonstrate what a big difference we can collectively make through small changes, like switching to reusable bags. Number 9. Misshapen Mae West Two decades ago in New Orleans, Louisiana, someone discovered a snapping turtle in a drainage ditch with a milk jug ring around her midsection, which had caused her body to deform into a figure eight shape. They took the turtle into their care, freed her from the milk jug ring, and named her Mae West. Eventually, however, the handler could no longer care for Mae West, and she was relocated to the Star Eco Station in Los Angeles, California, where she resides today. It's unclear how long the milk jug ring was attached to her before she was rescued. Images of Mae West went viral in 2008, and Oprah Winfrey even used a photo of the turtle in her 2009 Earth Day report. But this is just one example of an all-too-common problem today's turtles face at the hands of plastic pollutants, and it's been happening for a long time. In 1993, for example, a red-eared slider turtle named Peanut was found trapped in a six-pack plastic ring in Missouri. Peanut's rescuers removed the plastic ring from his midsection and rehabilitated him at a zoo. Now in his 30s, Peanut has lived a long and healthy life that would simply not be possible without human help, and he remains under professional care. After hearing stories like this, you can't help but wonder how many turtles go unrescued, suffering slowly in the grip of constricting plastic. And not just turtles either, but all kinds of animals that might not make it. Number 8. Confused Hermit Crabs A shocking 2019 study conducted by researchers from the University of Tasmania and the Institute for Marine and Antarctic Studies found that over a half million hermit crabs have died from becoming trapped in plastic in the remote Cocos or Keeling Islands of the Indian Ocean and on Henderson Island in the Pacific. The researchers referred to plastic bottles and other debris as deadly traps for these animals who become stranded in discarded containers as they try navigating their natural surroundings amid plastic waste. Hermit crabs do not have a shell of their own, which means that when one of their compatriots die, they emit a chemical signal that basically says there is a shell available, attracting more crabs who fall into the containers and die, who then send out more signals that say there are more shells available explained Dr. Alex Bond from London's Natural History Museum, who participated in the study. Essentially, it is this gruesome chain reaction. One to two hermit crabs per meter squared were trapped by plastic debris, according to a survey of the area that was conducted as part of the study. As a result, 508,000 of the crustaceans were killed. On a global scale, the loss of hermit crabs stands to severely impact ecosystems jeopardizing the overall health of their natural environments and everything within them. Number 7. Fishing Net Entanglement While it's usually best to leave wildlife alone, sometimes they need a helping hand in order to survive. In many cases, netting becomes tangled around seals and other animals' necks, posing a life-threatening risk to the creatures that warrants human intervention. Which is ironic since we caused the problem in the first place. Nod Dreyer, a kayaker who lives in Namibia, has rescued over 600 wild seals from discarded plastic and fishing nets. GoPro footage that went viral in May 2019 shows the man chasing panicked seals along the beach at Pelican Point in Walvis Bay and freeing the terrified animals from plastic once he catches up to them. 
Dreyer devotes much of his time to rescuing stranded and distressed seals who are caught up in plastic pollution, cutting the plastic from the animals and freeing them back into the ocean. Sometimes the injuries are very severe. The video footage of Dreyer saving seals shows how fishing nets can cut right through their skin. This is a gill net, the man said, holding up a piece of plastic he had just released a seal from. This is completely illegal in Namibia. It catches anything. Turtles, fish, dolphins, he continued, anything that swims through here will die. Entanglement is one of the primary ways plastic pollution harms wildlife. Its effects are often fatal, but are detrimental at the very least, and can harm an animal's ability to reproduce, escape predators, sense hunger, and digest food, and it also impairs their movement. Fishing nets and equipment are especially dangerous, with 640,000 tons of these materials ending up in the ocean every year. Number 6. Slow Suffering Plastic harms marine life in ways that often involve slow, drawn-out suffering. Take for example a poor beagle shark named Destiny, who became tangled in a plastic ring as a baby. She grew to 7 feet long with the ring stuck around her, cutting into her flesh the entire time. In fact, the plastic nearly sliced Destiny in half, and it probably would have if marine scientist James Sulikowski had not spotted her off the coast of Maine in July 2019. Sulikowski and his colleagues diligently cut the ring off Destiny, who is still growing and will reach up to 11 feet by adulthood. As she grew, it began to cut through her skin into her muscles, Sulikowski wrote in a Facebook post. If we had not removed it, she surely would have died. The team tagged and released Destiny so they could track her progress and whereabouts. Before long, they received good news. Destiny was actively traveling like a shark of her species should and appeared to be recovering from her horrifying injury. Number 5. Clinging to Trash While leading an expedition in Borneo in 2017, photographer and diver Justin Hoffman accompanied a small group who decided to go snorkeling near the town of Sumbawa Besar. Roughly an hour after entering the water, Hoffman's friend, Richard White, spotted a tiny seahorse drifting near the surface amid the changing tide. The men watched as the seahorse grasped at objects passing by with its tail, which is a customary practice for these creatures as they drift along ocean currents. They noticed plastic and other trash floating by, and at some point the seahorse grasped onto a floating Q-tip. Hoffman captured a heartbreaking image, which serves as a testament to the extent of plastic pollution's harmful effects. It's a photo that I wish didn't exist, but now that it does, I want everyone to see it, Hoffman wrote on Instagram. What started as an opportunity to photograph a cute little seahorse turned into one of frustration and sadness as the incoming tide brought with it countless pieces of trash and sewage. This photo serves as an allegory for the current and future state of our oceans. Number 4. Pushing Endangered Species to the Brink Last year, researchers studied the effects of plastic pollution on manta rays and whale sharks in the waters off Indonesia, the world's second largest contributor to ocean plastics. For a little over two years, the team took water samples from an area where these animals commonly feed. They simulated how manta rays and whale sharks feed by slowly dragging a fine mesh net through the waters and seeing what they collected. Their findings were nothing short of alarming. The researchers calculated that during the wet season, these creatures consume as many as 63 pieces of plastic per hour, and during the dry season, they ingest around 4 pieces per hour. Local scuba divers assisted the investigation by searching the water for and collecting manta ray fecal and vomit samples. Out of the samples the researchers collected, the feces contained 26 pieces of plastic, and the vomit contained 66 pieces. Research of other marine species shows that plastic can interfere with an animal's endocrine system, affecting reproduction, according to study co-author Elitza Germanoff, who spoke with Gizmodo on the matter. As threatened species, neither manta rays nor whale sharks can afford to have any dips in reproductive rates, she said. Unfortunately, these are just two examples of threatened species that are becoming increasingly endangered at the hands of plastic pollution. Number 3. Seabirds are eating plastic Animals that live underwater are not the only marine species suffering from the ill effects of plastic pollution. Seabirds are particularly hard hit by this problem, as the 2015 study shows. The research, which was published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences of the United States of America, revealed that around 90% of the world's marine avian species consume plastic. Even more alarmingly, if things continue along their current trajectory, all the planet seabirds will be eating plastic by 2050. As shocking as the statistics are, they're unfortunately nothing new to the scientists who have been tracking the plastic ingestion of birds for decades. 
Only 5% of marine birds ate plastic back in 1960, but within 20 years, around 80% of these creatures were consuming plastic. The numbers rose dramatically and continue to do so today. Essentially, the number of species and number of individuals within species that you find plastic in is going up fairly rapidly by a couple percent every year, research scientist Chris Wilcox told National Geographic. There is an obvious correlation between the rise in birds eating plastic and the increasing plastic production throughout the world, the latter of which doubles every 11 years, according to Wilcox. The problem is that it's worse in places where coastlines are near loosely concentrated collections of plastic, such as southern Australia, South Africa, and South America. Researchers are still learning about the destructive impacts that plastics have on birds' health, but what they've observed so far is highly concerning. For example, sharp objects can puncture their internal organs, and birds who ingest large amounts of plastic suffer from obstructions that prevent them from eating and digesting enough food, putting their well-being in severe jeopardy. Meanwhile, seabird populations are declining for numerous reasons, reminding us that while plastic isn't the only factor, it certainly compounds the problems associated with their decreasing numbers. Number 2. Why do animals eat plastic? After learning how harmful eating plastic is to marine creatures, you may wonder why they do it. After all, don't they realize that it's unnatural? Wouldn't something about plastic, perhaps its taste or texture, alert an animal to the seemingly obvious fact that it's not food? The short answer to that is no. Simply put, many marine species do not have the ability to discriminate between appropriate food sources and objects that could harm or kill them. For example, a plastic bag looks just like a jellyfish floating around to a sea turtle. Plastic may look or smell like the foods that some animals are used to eating, causing them to unsuspectingly consume it. For example, plastic debris serves as an ideal breeding ground for algae that krill feed on. Krill are a major food source for many marine animals, and when they digest these algae, they emit a distinct odor that seabirds have learned to look out for while on the hunt. A 2016 study showed that the buildup of algae on plastic waste deceptively leads seabirds to consume these harmful items. But this reasoning doesn't explain why some creatures, like whales, consume plastic in massive amounts, and scientists are admittedly trying to get to the bottom of the mystery. One possible factor is the sheer volume of plastic that is dumped into the world's oceans each year, approximately 18 billion pounds. In other words, there's so much of it in the water, animals are bound to eat some of it. Another possibility is the fact that the sound of plastic rustling around and floating throughout the ocean may register it as a food source among creatures that rely on echolocation to find prey, such as toothed whales. The bottom line is that for one reason or another, or perhaps numerous reasons, many animals eat plastic because they simply don't know any better. And this is not a reflection of their shortcomings, but of ours as humans, for continuing to flood our world's waterways with trash with a full awareness of its impact on precious marine species. Number 1. The Dangers of Microplastic Microplastics are plastics that break down into very small particles, and while they're less visible than the heaps of garbage that collect along a shoreline, they're no less damaging to marine life. In fact, recent research suggests that the abundance of microplastics in the world's oceans has likely been vastly underestimated for a number of years. The new study, which was conducted using extremely fine mesh nets, showed that the number of microplastics in the ocean may be double what scientists previously thought. Microplastics are particularly harmful because they are around the same size as zooplankton, which serve as a common food source for many species. In some areas, microplastics even outnumber zooplankton. Some creatures who feed on zooplankton ingest hundreds of microplastic particles daily, and this type of pollution has pervaded practically every corner of the globe, leaving no marine animals immune to its effects. Researchers are still trying to determine the extent of the damage. Thanks for watching! Sadly, there are countless stories about the damage that plastic causes to animals and the environment. To make a difference, check out organizations such as Oceana and the Ocean Conservancy. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe! See you next time!